A fiery debate is playing out right now on our 11 Live Facebook page. Less than 24 hours before thousands of students across Georgia are expected to walk out of class. It's part of a national movement at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning to remember the lives lost in the South Florida school shooting and to demand Congress address gun violence. Joe Henke is live in Cobb County where one walkout is planned. Joe. Well, Cheryl, that's right. Some students here at Pope High School are expected to walk out tomorrow, joining students around the rest of the state. These walkouts are expected to take place at 10 a.m. In some districts, they'll be very organized. Students will head to all school assemblies. Other districts will be a little less uh, organized with their walkouts, but still the message will be the same. They want to remember the 17 people killed in Parkland, Florida, and also demand Congress make changes when it comes to gun laws across the country. Here's a closer look at the numbers. 17. That is how many minutes Wednesday's walkouts are expected to last. One minute for each of the 17 lives lost at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. 16. We checked with more than a dozen school districts about their plans for handling student walkouts. Fulton County Schools Superintendent Jeff Rose calls the walkouts a learning opportunity for our students. Atlanta Public School Superintendent Maria Karstarfen says teachers will be facilitating conversation around civic engagement and social responsibility. DeKalb County Superintendent Stephen Green wrote, it can be a teachable moment where students can demonstrate their First Amendment right to be heard. Four, out of the 16 districts we talked with, Bartow, Cobb, Fayette, and Gwinnett plan to give students an unexcused absence if they walk out of class. In a letter, Cobb County Schools said they do not support or endorse walkouts. 2,853 and counting. That is how many walkouts are planned across the country tomorrow, according to womensmarch.com. Online, nearly 3,000 walkouts are listed, including dozens in the Atlanta area. Three main hashtags are being used to create support and conversation about the walkouts. Enough, National School Walkout, and Never Again. On the 24th of March, Parkland school shooting survivors are also planning the March for Our Lives rally in Washington, D.C. Students and supporters are expected to protest outside the U.S. Capitol. Similar marches are being planned outside state capitals on the same day. And today, the ACLU of Georgia sent a letter to superintendents around our area, encouraging, encouraging them to allow students to participate in the walkouts and also reminding them of certain rights that students do have to protest uh, during the school day or outside of the school day even. I'll have more on the support that students are receiving tonight coming up at 6. Reporting in Cobb County, I'm Joe Henke, 11 Alive News. And within the last hour or so, we heard from the superintendent of Atlanta Public Schools who says the district is allowing student leaders leadership at middle schools and high schools to take the lead in organizing tributes, rallies and discussions tomorrow. I think it's an opportunity for our students to also uh, debate or explore a, a controversial issue that will affect them not just today but in the future as um, they go on to college and start families of their own. I, I think that our students will have a lot to say about how the direction our country will go in around um, violence in our neighborhoods and our schools. Dr. Maria Karstarfen says each school has been allowed to plan something different, with some expected to hold a moment of silence for the Florida victims and others planning to form a human chain around their schools, others hosting discussions using world events. She says, though, in each case, the events are being planned with safety and security in mind. Tonight, we are asking... In your opinion, what do you feel is happening? Do you feel students have a right to walk out? Do you feel like they should not do that? We'd like to know what you think at 11alive.com slash vote. This is a divisive topic, but boy, these young people are showing that they are active and they have a voice, and we will watch history play out together tomorrow. Other people floating alternative ideas to these walkouts. It's gaining some traction. Alan writing on our Facebook page, why don't these kids walk up instead of walk out? There's even a hashtag for that and Liza Lucas has been tracking the conversation from our newsroom and explains what's driving this idea. Hashtag walk up not out is building momentum on social media as those not in favor of a walkout turn to other ways to take action. Messages like these are being retweeted and shared across Twitter, Instagram and Facebook, encouraging students to walk up to the kid who sits alone at lunch, walk up to the kid who causes disturbances in class and check in walk up to teachers and say thank you. It's the counter idea of walking out for 17 minutes. The post encouraging students to find 14 other kids and three adults to walk up to and say something nice in honor of the 17 lives lost in Florida. 
Some school officials like those at Calhoun schools have publicly promoted the idea of a walk up online, while some students are planning their own variation on the walk up idea, preparing to hand out words of encouragement to peers or post notes on lockers. Other posts online say it doesn't have to be one way or the other, saying students can walk up to classmates every day and walk out in protests on March 14th. So what do you think of plans to walk out or walk up? We're tracking your ideas, your reactions, your photos on 11 Alive Facebook leading up to the actual event 10 a.m. tomorrow.